Thank you for joining Stamp It Up with Kathy Goodman. Today we're going to make a card, um, My Heart is Grateful for You, using the beautiful autumn stamp set from Stamping Up. We're also going to use um, a little something from for you from the Wrapped in Christmas um, stamp set. And also the inside greeting is May this season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. And that's from Gather Together. Okay, let's set these aside. We're going to get started. We're going to bring in our card base is Cajun Craze. And we are going to score this on the score lines. Um, the inspiration from for this card came from um, Be Creative. Um, she made a similar card with this um, stamp set. I just changed it up a little bit to give you a little bit different um, take on it. So we're going to, this is actually a gift card holder. So we're going to take and glue our pieces together right here. We're going to glue that to um, the autumn paper is in the um, mini catalog from Stamping Up for the fall. And we're going to add, we've added that to a crumb cake mat, and we're going to place that on the bottom portion of our card. The top portion is right here. This is our crumb cake, and then our beautiful autumn paper. And we're going to center these together best we can get it straight and then we'll add that to the front portion of our card um, when you're doing a paper that has a pattern you want to make sure that you have your pattern going the correct direction and if you'll notice I've cut these to where they are um, they would line up like you were lining up a pattern if you were sewing or something else, you wanted the patterns to line up. There's a space between them, but they would actually totally line up if you put them right next to each other. Okay, so we've got that part done. Now what we're going to work on is um, where the gift card will go in the inside. So I put this little deal in here. Let me see if I can get it out. There we go. A little something for you and that's where you can put your gift card if you choose to put a gift card or if you want to put money you could put money in there as well okay so let's put that back so we're working on this piece right here so let's take and use our bone folder and we're going to fold this piece back and then this piece right here, we're going to fold forward. Um, we're going to take our half inch circle punch and we're going to measure the middle of this. Let's see here. One inch, two, three, four. get our ruler so this um, grid paper doesn't have good distinctive we're gonna do two and an eighth inches so I'm gonna make a little mark with my pen at two and an eighth which will be right here and it's okay that I'm using a pin because uh, we're gonna actually punch that part out so no one's gonna see that little pin mark so we're gonna take the half inch circle punch if you don't have a half inch circle punch, you could use a different size. So this is what we're looking for. And the reason for that is just to make it easier to get your um, gift card in and out. 
So I'm going to add liquid glue to the edge right here. We want to seal this so that you can put your gift card in it and it won't disappear. So if you just take and set that, hold that for a second on the edges. And then this part up here at the top, it's a little um, half inch score line. We're going to put liquid glue on this. You could also use tearing tape if you prefer. Um, liquid glue does do a phenomenal job. So what we're gonna do, this is actually an eighth of an inch smaller than the card base. And you just wanna line it up to where it's equal on either side. It's gonna be right on that um, score line. So you wanna make sure it's still, you don't get it too close to it to where it won't close. And that's gonna go just like that. You wanna burnish it, make sure it's down good. Looks like we did a good job. We're going to take, um, and let's go ahead and do our stamping. We need to do, my heart is grateful for you. We're gonna use Cajun Craze. So let's do that. Let's see, here's my heart is grateful for you. And we're gonna do that on the, um, the large die cut that we used for the front. Stamp that right in the middle, press down firmly, and lift up. Looks like we got a, a good image. We're gonna also do the one for the inside. We're gonna do that on the stitched shape. And we're going to put that right in the middle. Okay, looks like we got good images for both. The um, brushed metal, and this is um, a bronze brushed metal. I took the die cut for the um, my heart is grateful for you, the die cut that I used for that, and I just traced around it with pencil and then cut it out so I could get a border for that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and finish our stamping. We're gonna um, stamp a little something for you, and that's gonna go for our little card that we're gonna put where you can put your gift card. You can omit this part if you would like. Um, for the um, edges, I just used um, a corner rounder. Um, I used a retired one. You can um, use whatever corner rounder that you have. Um, there's also one on the envelope punch board if you have one of those. Okay, so now let's add our leaf decorations. What I did is I cut these out of the um, designer series paper that is in the beautiful autumn bundle. Um, this is the stamp set and the three punches that I used. The um, Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Series paper is what I used and I also used the brushed metallic cardstock for this project. So let's... Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and add, um, these are the punches that I used and I just punched this out of the designer series paper and I thought I had a piece of it to show you how I did that, but I don't have it right here. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and glue the um, greeting on our brushed metallic. You want to be careful that you don't get glue on your brushed metallic. So we're just centering it. Um, if you get glue on your brushed metallic paper, it doesn't come off very good and it leaves a terrible smear mark. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
add, let's work on the inside. We're gonna add, may the season bring you smiles. We'll just add liquid glue to this and we're gonna add this to the inside of our card, right up in this area. And you just wanna center it. Then I'm gonna, the little something for you that I've already put the little leaf on, we're gonna just slip that right in there and it goes in there really easy as long as you don't put too much glue that comes out. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little acorn right up here at the top and two little leaves down here. So we're just gonna do that with liquid glue. On the inside of your card, you don't need a lot of bulk because then it'll make it harder for it to close. We got this right here and this one right here. There we go. And you just want to make those look like they're fluttering around. Okay, so now we can close up our card and we can go ahead and tie this mint macaron ribbon around the base. This is um, from the annual catalog, I believe, and it's just an eighth inch, so it's very small but it pulls out the mint macaron color in the designer series paper. It's a little tricky to tie this because it tends to, um, you want to make sure that your ribbon is not um, crossed to where it's going to leave a, a bump on the other side when you because that is going to be visible to whoever you give this to. So we're going to pull this through right here. There we go. Pull it tight and then you can arrange your, your bow right after you get it pulled tight. Make it, doesn't look too bad. There we go. So then I'm going to use my scissors that I have just for ribbon and we're going to cut these ends off, make them nice and crisp, put these back away so I don't accidentally use them on paper. Okay, so now we've got that tied and that's going to hold this portion right here up and you can Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our greeting and we're going to place dimensionals on the back. That way it will um, kind of set it up just a little bit higher and give it some more dimension. Okay, you can put five or six um, dimensionals on the back depending on your personal preference. I like to use my take your pick tool to remove the paper off the back. It keeps it all corralled and it's a lot easier to do. Okay, so then we're going to place this in the center. Now we get to decorate it. We're going to add our leaves that we punched out from the Gilded Autumn designer series paper. We're gonna add one right here. And that was kind of a pool party slash mint macaron color. We're going to add one in the Cajun craze. And then for our acorn, let's add a mini dimensional right in the middle of the back. And we'll add that right on top. That way it just kind of stands up a little bit. There we go. Now we're almost done with this one. We just have to add the leaves at the bottom. We're going to add one right here. And then we're going to add another mini dimensional to this maple leaf. And put this right down here. 
here. There we go. Now we've completed our card. This is the inside of it. And this is where you put your little gift card or if you wanted to put money, you could also put money in there instead of a gift card. Or if you just wanted to leave it just like that. So this is the one that I made prior to us getting together. And it's kind of cool how it opens and lifts up in the center. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a blessed day.